Hello friends, this is Shane Alam and today we are going to design and assemble a motor blower. First we all, first we have to design all the parts and then we go, we gonna assemble all the parts. So now the first part of motor blower assembly is showing on the screen. This is dimension of upper housing. So we gonna we gonna design the upper housing of the motor blower. So guys, let's start. Start mechanical design, part design. And here, upper housing. Now we're gonna design upper housing or the catia. So we have to choose first the plane, and I'm gonna use plane, YZ plane. Select YZ plane, then sketch and normal. Now select a circle and draw a circle from the center center point and give the dimension. The diameter of the circle is 12. Zoom it. Now select a line and draw a horizontal line and select this point. This point and this line make a relation to the midpoint. Also make a relation to the horizontal. It's already given. Now give the dimension to the line. The dimension it should be 15. Now select profile and draw a simple profile here. Okay, then give the mission to it. It should be 0 0.40. Now select mirror. Now first select the entities, this one and this one. Select mirror and select vertical axis. Here now choose trim. And trim this. Trim this circle. Also trim this line and this extra line. Now the geometry is made. Now exit. Go to the pad. And here select mirror extend and here the 4. Show the preview. Ok. Now you can see. Now select this face. Go to the sketch normal again select a circle draw a circle here and the diameter of this circle should be give the diameter it to 4.875 into 2 now exit and have some extruded cut up to 7.75 see okay now again select YZ plane, go to sketch, normal and draw a circle here. The circle center should be coincide with the horizontal axis like this. And the diameter of this circle is to be 20. Now select this circle and this circle make a relationship tangent. Okay. It's good. Now select line, draw a horizontal line here and the distance from the vertical axis it must be 6.15. Again select a line, a horizontal line here and no need to give dimension just select this line and circle and give the relation of for tangency. Choose trim, trim this entity, trim this entity, trim this one, control Z, just select axis and draw horizontal axis here, trim this, trim this, trim this line, 
frame and trim this line also so this is our path for sweeping the profile here and you can also delete this line so, so now exit sketch select YZ pin go to the reference pin reverse direction and the reference pin should be offset of 6.15 ok now select this plane go to sketch normal again normal draw a center point rectangle draw a rectangle here and give the dimensions from horizontal it should be 5.80 also this should be 4.2 and make sure this point and this line should be coincide ok now another dimension this should be of 5.75 and select flat air flat should be of 1.5 ok Give this rate 1.5 to this to all the corners select this 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 and this go to the equal select 1.5 ok you can see profile has been created so just exit close something is Overdefined. This is overdefined. Delete. Exit. Go to the rib. Select profile and select curve. Preview. Okay. You can see here. Now do one thing. Select this space. Go to sketch. Normal and select this surface go to the insert operation 3d geometry project 3d element now select offset select this entity and do offset and offset should be of offset should be of minus 0.25 here select this and delete it now show a uh, show our curve this is our curve so now exit and now select slot profile has been selected here now select select the curve preview now you can see it has been created here ok now do one thing uh, again select this face this plane normal again normal select this and go to the insert operation 3d geometry and here project 3d element and delete this delete this delete this or also you can just go to the plane normal again normal and select these line only go to the insert operation 3d geometry project 3d element now you can see this profile has been generated now again select the same face first go to exit again select the plane go to sketch normal again normal and here select this these lines this 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 one and this one and this last one go to the insert operation 3d geometry project 3d element now you can see we have a different sketches sketch number 7 is sketch number 8 and sketch number 6 and first it's enough now go to the 
again select the same face this plane and go to the reference plane and generate offset pin in the reverse direction up to 5.75 okay select this plane go to the sketch normal again normal now draw a center point rectangle again and draw a rectangle now select dimension from here to here it should be 10 minus 5.25 4.7 and then this should be 5.25 5.25 and again this should be 7.25 here, here like this I'll go to the fillet fillet this okay okay it should be 1.5 again select fillet this one this one this one select all the all the fillet go to the equal and 1.5 go to the exit now here select multi section solid section 1 has been selected and select sketch 7 change the direction below have preview here select closing point right click replace and select this point preview preview Okay, now you can see solid has been generated. Now select this face again, go to insert. Now just select this face, go to sketch, normal, select this face, go to insert, operation, and project 3D element. Now select offset, select this entity, have some. offset select offset here minus 0.25 and delete upper face delete exit go to the multi section remove multi section section 1 has been selected now select sketch 8 here, here you can see the closing point closing point are correct but the direction is reverse to so reverse direction preview now you can see okay now our profile has been completely generated for the blower now we have to cut this inside face so do just one thing select this plane visor plane sketch normal and now here again choose a circle and and the diameter of this circle should be 11.5 5 okay why the diameter should be of 11.5 because the outer diameter is 12 and now we have to generate a thick layer which should be of 0.25 the thickness of the shell should be 0.25 so 0.25 and 0.25 total 0.5 and 12, 12 minus 0 0.5 is 11.5 so just exit go to the pocket and here select reverse and here should be 3.75 show to preview you can see ok now profile completed profile has been generated just select this face go to sketch normal select another circle here and the diameter of that this circle should be of 3 sketch exit sketch pocket here select up to next preview ok now you can see blower has been generated now go to the fillet and the fillet should be of 0.5 and select this face this edge preview ok now you can see now just select this face go to the sketch normal 
and here select here we gonna need some sir some holes diameter of this hole is 0.41 and the dimension the positioning from here to here it should be 1 and from here to this line should be 0.75 now just select this circle go to the translate select this point and select here 1 2 3 and here select 2 enter and put it horizontally now select all this uh, all the, these four circle and go to the here mirror select the horizontal axis okay pocket here select up to next preview okay you can see the hole has been generated the first part has been generated so hide this plane and now put some material to it go to the apply material and here you can select painted I'm using red apply ok here select shading with material now you can see so our first part has been created now gonna save save this desktop new folder upper housing part number one save 